Now that your social media channels are connected to your Zoho social account, you can add your team to manage and post to them. To regulate the responsibilities and access that these team members can have, Social has a setting called roles and permissions. Roles are similar to job roles in an organization and they have a set of predefined responsibilities and access assigned. Social provides three default roles, brand admin, user and limited publisher. The person creating the portal initially will be the portal owner by default. Other than the three default roles, you can create any number of roles to assign to your team members according to your business requirements. Permissions are the access specifications or the responsibilities that are mapped to these roles. The permissions are predefined for the default roles, but they can be custom set for the new roles that you create. This can help you limit who can view specific information and modules on the tool and this in turn will ensure that your data is safe and only provided to people who really need it. In social, we have a set of six permissions which are publishing, comment or reply, advanced reports, leads data, ZIA and inbox. To view these, go to settings then choose roles and permissions. Let's take a look at user role here and the permissions that are present by default. First is publishing, which will give users access to publish to all social networks without the need for an approval from any other user. This means that users without this permission will have to get an approval from users named as approvers if they want to publish a post. Users can be chosen as approvers when you add them to the social account or you can modify this under publishing settings at any time. So, if you are an approver in your social account, you will be able to publish posts by yourself and manage the posts sent for approval by other users who don't have the publishing permission. The comment or reply permission gives users access to comment on or reply to posts and messages. The advanced reports permission enables users to access different reports and analytics under the reports module. With the leads data permission, users can access leads related information obtained from the lead forms and monitor the forms. Since lead information is very sensitive and confidential, you can restrict access to leads data only to users who really need it. The ZIA permission provides users with access to the Compose with ZIA feature powered by OpenAI. This is the AI-supported writing assistant available in the Compose section. You can ask ZIA to frame content for you, rephrase existing content and so much more. The Inbox permission provides users with access to all the interactions received on all social networks. You can view the interactions and along with the reply permission, you can respond to and assign the interactions to any user. Now that we've understood what roles and permissions are, let's try creating some new roles for Zilka Travels. To create a new role, click Create New Role. You can add a role name, so I'll create a role named Social Media Manager here and I'll give this role the permissions to publish, message, comment or reply on posts and to use Zia, our AI-powered writing assistant. Similarly, you can create any number of roles and give them permissions that you think are apt. We can create a role for an intern and give permissions to only advanced reports to analyze how the social networks are performing or you can create a role for a sales and support executive and give them permissions to access leads data and inbox so that they can view all the interactions from social networks and access leads information, thus working towards better conversions. After you've created all the required roles, let's move on to adding your team to the Zoho social account. To add members, go to settings and navigate to brand members. Click on invite to invite new users. 
click team members to invite team members to the account you can add a team member through email or directly from your crm or g suite to add via email you have to provide some details email address role and channels and you have to select if you want to add them as an approver for instance let's say you have a social media intern who's working on drafting social media posts as the intern is fairly new to your business you don't want them to have access to publish content on your social networks without the content being verified by existing members in the social media team so you can set some senior employees as approvers and they will receive notifications whenever the new intern is trying to post something the post will go live only when approved once you have added all the details click on invite to invite them to the account if you want to add from crm click add from zoho crm and add the user to your social account you can also add team members directly from the g suite click add from g suite and add them to your social account If you're an agency and you're on Zoho Social's agency or agency plus pricing plans, you can also additionally add your client members to the account. This can be useful in cases where you want your clients to see customized dashboards or reports for their social media interactions or the analytics section. So, you will be able to provide them with only the information they need and want to assess. You can add a client member by clicking on invite and then client members. Add the client member's email address. The add as an approver box is checked by default. Uncheck it if you don't want to add the member as an approver. And then click invite. Once the invited users accept your invitation, you will receive a notification confirming this. Great work. You have now added your team to your social account. with the right set of permissions and roles